Good day everyone, welcome to my vlog. I am Altea Meilumakang and my topic is all about online education. So what is online education? Online education, also known as e-learning or virtual learning, refers to a form of education that takes place over the internet or through digital platforms. It allows students to access educational materials, participate in classes, and interact with instructors and peers remotely without being physically present in traditional classroom setting. Online education can encompass a wide range of learning experiences from fully online degree programs offered by university to individual courses, workshops, and tutorials available on various online learning platforms. There are some key features and components of online education which include the digital learning materials, virtual classroom, self-paced learning, assessment and feedback, communication tools, multimedia and interactivity, access and inclusivity, and continuous learning and professional development. So let's tackle what is digital learning materials. It is an educational material such as lectures, readings, videos, and interactive contents are delivered online and accessible to students anytime, anywhere. So, the number two is the virtual classroom. Online education often includes virtual classroom where instructors conduct live lectures, discussions, and interactive sessions using video conferencing tools and collaboration software. The third one is the self-paced learning. Many online courses and programs offer flexibility in pacing, allowing students to study at their own pace and complete assignments according to their schedules. The fourth one is the assessment and feedback. Assessment methods in online education can include quizzes, exams, essays, projects, and peer evaluation. Instructors provide feedback and grades through online platforms. The fifth one is the education tools. Education relies on various communication tools such as email, discussion, forums, messaging app, and video conferencing to facilitate interaction between students, instructors, and peers. The sixth one is the multimedia and interactivity. So digital platforms enable the interaction of multimedia elements like videos, animation, simulations, and interactive exercises to enhance learning experiences and engagement. The seventh is the access and inclusivity which is online education can reach a diverse range of learners globally, breaking down geographical barriers and improving access to education for individuals who may be limited in attending traditional classes so the last one is the continuous learning and professional development beyond formal education online platforms offer opportunities for continuous learning development and professional training through specialized courses and certifications so overall online education has become increasingly popular due to its convenience flexibility accessibility and technological advancements that support rich and interactive learning experience in virtual environment so the advantages is flexibility accessibility variety of resources cost effective and customization so the disadvantage of online education includes the lack of face-to-face -face interaction technology challenges self-discipline required limited hands-on experience, and potential for distractions.